<laughs> what can I do for you, young lady? I was wondering if you had any books on this kind of famous archaeologist, or books written by him. Um, Bruce Gordon? I'm not sure I have anything, but everyone from Captain Cook to Robert Ripley be right back there to our left. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Ah, hello, Miss Whitmore. I know who you are. And I know what you're planning, Shade. You want the Black Diamond so you can team up with Eclipso to do something bad. We're going to stop you. A supervillain team-up? Really? That's the vast scope of your imagination? It happens. Icicle and Brainwave. I'll ignore the insult of comparing me to those two incompetents. By far the greatest slight is assuming I seek to conspire with Eclipso. Why wouldn't you? You're just as bad as he is. You killed Dr. Midnight. Oh, my. And said with such conviction, you were there, I assume. Pat was. Oh, yes, of course. Dear old Stripesy. You know, it's interesting the things he chooses to tell you and those he doesn't. You poor, deluded child. Don't you know there's a difference between bad and evil. I've been called wicked more than once. A law broken here, rule bent there, the odd life taken. But nobody that didn't deserve it. Eclipso, on the other hand? He killed McNider's daughter. She was 10 years old. Wait, what? Eclipso killed Dr. McNider's daughter? Mm. Now look, a moment ago you were so sure of everything. When I find the Black Diamond, I intend to throw it in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean, so that Eclipso may never hurt anyone ever again. Why would you do that? Oh, well, um, living as long as I have, I'm bored. But really, leave this all to me.